Hey ambitious professionals, it's Linda Rayner of lindarayner.com, career strategist and intuitive purpose coach. I help driven professionals like you to enhance your personal brand so that you can pursue a career you'll truly enjoy. And in this video, I really want to talk about the idea of grounding yourself in order to feel confident in your daily life, but more specifically in your career. And so I have a strategy and technique that I'd like to share with you and really get a greater understanding and awareness for what confidence really is and how you can use it as a key ingredient in having a more fulfilling and exciting career. So the whole topic of confidence, um, really uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because it came up consistently in a lot of my client sessions in the past couple weeks and you know but beyond talking about resumes and interviews and talking about job search strategy and all that stuff the next biggest topic that um, I discuss with my clients is their confidence levels and confidence is something that we all have struggled with in our lives I mean there's no way that there's nobody out there who hasn't struggled at some level with their self-confidence and when I say self-confidence I specifically mean the idea in your head that maybe I'm not good enough maybe I'm not good enough at my job maybe I'm not good enough for that job maybe I'm not good enough as a husband or a wife or as a parent you know whatever roles you may be playing there have been times I'm sure that you've questioned whether you were good enough and what happens with this is that if there's a time that you question yourself in that way and you don't know how to deal with it and you don't know how to overcome that subconscious belief that maybe you might just not be good enough, what ends up happening is that when there's difficult times that you end up going through, you know, let's say you lose a job or let's say you've, you know, sort of hit a roadblock in your career, something's happened at work and you're not knowing how to deal with it, all of a sudden that subconscious kind of silent thought that existed and was put away in the back corner of your mind all of a sudden it lurks its ugly head and it starts expressing itself and it starts seeping into your psyche and into how you feel and it starts eating away at your self-esteem that's the danger of having these subconscious beliefs that maybe we're not good enough or, you know, and that's really where um, self-confidence issues comes from. So in order to get rid of this subconscious belief and in order to really get to the root of the problem and understand why it's there and how we can overcome it through grounding ourselves, we first should really understand where did this belief even begin? Where did this truly start from? In my opinion, I believe, because I was born and raised in North America, in, in Canada specifically, I know that here the school system, and I believe the school system, I know the school system, system is pretty much the same all throughout North America, where we've grown up to be taught that life is all about competition, it's all about beating others at their game or at our game or whatever game we're playing, it's about being on top all about um, me versus you it's it's all about separation as opposed to this sense of collective unity and moving forward um, with growth and progress it's really about I'm where I'm at compared to you and I have to I have to compare myself to you based on just one measure and that's really unfair because what happens is we end up growing up feeling as though we're always up against someone else or that we always have to compare ourselves to other people and that's where the danger comes in is that you know we go through school comparing ourselves to everyone else making sure that we're better than everyone else we're trying to meet our parents expectations or meet you know whoever's expectations of us we're trying to feel good about ourselves and the only way that we feel good about ourselves is if we beat someone else at something and this doesn't stop with school this continues on as we start our careers and as we continue on in our careers where you and a few other people are eyeing for the one promotion for that one next level up and or you're looking for a new job and it's you against five other candidates you know it's all about competition it's all about trying to beat the next person out and um, trying to trying to be the best and this is very depressing this is a very depressing way to live because 
that means that you're you're purely valuing yourself based on how you perform against someone else and that other person could be at the same level as you are they could be worse off than you are or they could be better than you are and then all of a sudden because you're not good enough in the world's eyes you don't feel good about yourself and you dwindle downwards into this ball of darkness i mean it doesn't have to be that dramatic but trust me i've seen people not feeling great and it was all because they just don't have that self-belief and so when it comes to not having that confidence what we really have to realize is that confidence does not come from you comparing yourself to someone else confidence does not come from you actually truly beating someone else and being better that's that's fake confidence i'll tell you that it's not lasting confidence lasting genuine confidence only and will always come from within and will only always come from within your heart because if it's coming from the ego where you feel oh i'm making more money than that person or oh i i had a better performance review than that other person and you're you're riding high on just that type of confidence that's actually just ego that's all ego and guess what happens if one day all of a sudden your salary plummets or you lose that job or you um or uh you know your performance rating is worse than the the, the colleague that you sit next to what happens it's like a complete balloon has burst and you just fall apart you're in pieces you feel like you're not worth anything because your results don't show for it and that's not the right way to truly live honestly it isn't because to live that way means that you're constantly basing yourself on external expectations and you're on this constant volatile roller coaster that will never end till the day you die versus tapping into your own inner self tapping into who you truly are and getting centered and grounded from that space which I'll explain and knowing that no matter what situation you're in no matter where you're at no matter who you're with that you can feel comfortable in your own skin and that you can feel confident in who you are and what you're capable of. There's a difference to living from that peaceful centered place and living from that com competition, comparison, external view place. There's two different perspectives there. And when you're living outside of yourself and when you're comparing yourself constantly and when you're seeing that things aren't happening for you and you're allowing that to dwindle you down, to dwindle your self-worth, your self-esteem, what ends up happening is it blocks future opportunities from being able to get to you. It blocks you from being able to truly blossom in the career that you really wanna do because you're spending all your energy and time in cowering and lowering your energy to a level where nothing can get to you and so today well right now i really just want to share with you if you're not feeling confident in your career or in your life or whatever you're dealing with then it's time to take a look at where is my perspective am i looking outside myself and comparing myself to others and thinking that i need to meet the world's expectations of what good is and amazing is and being the best is and trying to live by those standards or for truly the first time since childhood since before i've gone you know i went to school and got this confidence edged out of me do i want to go back and return to this place where i'm confident in who i am and i know who i am and i want to get to know myself a little bit better and I want to remove those emotional blocks and I want to get clear and clear within my heart and I want my heart to lead me and guide me to where it is that I need to go you have that choice you have that ability to decide that and when it comes to centering yourself and when it comes to getting grounded the key way to doing that your heart is the key to living a centered life, to living a connected life, to feeling truly confident. And so one step of the way to getting there 
to getting to that more confident, truly authentic self that is within you, one step of the way is to meditate. Okay, so to do true deep meditation. And when I say deep meditation, what I really mean is set aside some time every single day, preferably in the morning, where you can close your eyes and you can breathe and you can get centered back within yourself. And what happens during this time is if there are thoughts, which there will be, thoughts that come floating in and out and, you know, are telling you things and pushing you to stop meditating and annoying you, whatever, what you're doing in that process while you're meditating is you're training your heart. Well, really, not your heart. You're getting your heart to train your mind to realize that, hold on, you have no power over me. You, as a mind, you don't have the power to control me if I say that you don't. I have the power to say that you are secondary and that the thoughts that come through, I can simply acknowledge that they're there, but I don't have to consume them. I don't have to drown in the thoughts. You'll start to notice a separation between the thoughts and your heart. Second step of the way is to start listening to the feelings, the guidance that you get from your heart space during this meditative period and during the day as well. Whenever you're getting creative ideas or intuitive hits or just feelings of, I just feel like I want to do this one thing or that I, I need to, I need to research this a little bit more. I need to delve into this a little bit more. Follow that. Follow what your heart is telling you to do. Or if it's that, you know, when I go into this meeting, I want to, um, uh, I want to connect with this person in this specific way. If that's what your heart is telling you, then allow that to happen. Allow that to transpire. What we do so often is that we can't even hear what our heart is trying to tell us when it comes to our careers and when it comes to our daily lives. We allow our hearts to just simply stay silent. Well, actually our hearts never really stay silent, but we cause them, we suffocate our hearts to the point where it has to be silent because we're piling on all these thoughts and mostly not the most pleasant thoughts, mostly negative thoughts and say, and, and filling our minds up with um, all kinds of things, all kinds of beliefs that are not serving us. We rationalize our lives away. So, First step is to meditate. Second step is to start listening to your heart. Start listening to that guidance more. And then the final third step, I mean, I honestly think there's going to be a lot more steps that I'll end up sharing with you, but one final step that I think will help to get you in this process is to be hyper aware. Every single day, whether you're at the office or whether you're looking for a new job, you're, you know, going on interviews, whatever it is, be hyper aware of how you're feeling at every single moment, meaning am I being present right now or am I telling myself really mean things? Or am I feeling good because I trust that my heart knows what I need to do and who I need to speak to and what I need to say? Am I trusting in that guidance and feeling good because I know that when I need that guidance, it'll come to me? or Am I rationalizing my life away every single minute of the day? Am I allowing myself to be consumed with thoughts that aren't serving me? So be hyper aware. So the more awareness that you bring to yourself in your daily life, it's really going to help you in your career. And it's also going to really, what, what you're going to notice over time is it's going to guide you and can, it can scare you, you know, your heart can scare you at times because it'll eventually edge you to making decisions that maybe for the longest time you were too afraid to make. So if it's that you need to leave a job that you're not happy with, but you've been holding on to it because you've been rationalizing that you should st keep staying there even though you're unhappy, your heart will guide you to what the right decision is. Or if it's that you really shouldn't take a certain job because something about it just doesn't feel right, your heart, if you listen to it, 
will take will help you to make the right decision or whatever i mean honestly i'm just get throwing out some examples but with any life decision any anything that happens in your daily lives your heart always knows and when you know that the heart is always so accurate and it always knows because it's connected to a greater source from above us when you can really trust in that voice because you can start to hear it clearer and clearer every day then you have nothing to be concerned about your confidence never fluctuates all you need to do in life to have a fulfilling and happy and enjoyable career is to trust in your heart guidance and to tr and really other people may call that intuition it's just trust in your intuition but it all comes from one place and it comes from your heart so that's what i want to share with you this is a pretty long video already i really hope that was helpful what I'll, all i can say is if you want to have a fulfilling and meaningful and enjoyable career and life it's all about tapping into your heart space and listening to the guidance that it gives you every single day every single moment so if you enjoyed this video and you found that helpful um, and you're on the journey to trying to find the career that you're meant to do and live your purpose and uh, find that next opportunity and you need additional help feel free to reach out to me um, head on over to lindarainer.com click under work with me personal brand renewal to stand out get hired and fill out the application form and from there if i feel that we're a match i'd be happy to discuss if you liked it then please give it a thumbs up also subscribe and let your friends know that this channel is all about helping driven professionals like you to enhance your personal brand so that you can pursue a career you'll truly enjoy thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next video sorry if you heard that that is my dog his name's Tofu. He's um, kind of sleepy right now, but uh, I guess I'll just have him say hi. And if you follow, guy, if you can, if you want to follow him on Instagram, his uh, screen is Tofu the French Bulldog on Instagram.